Hello guys, welcome back to the channel here. And I haven't recorded or I haven't posted anything this morning like lately. Other than I believe maybe I don't know. It's been a little bit. So I wanna do a couple or I wanna do one thing actually. Um first uh skip to this ad and um, I wanted to do a video on all my vehicles so far with what I've got and the Ramp Mobile by Glitch Works. I would say it is literally, literally what it, what you think fast. Um, you can get, um, I'll show you kind of, you know. You can change the suspension mode so your wheels are up there. So now you don't have to worry about being all crap, like, you know. That's the inside. Obviously you can see your feet, but it's kind of rendered useless that way. So, first of all, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to put it right about here. And I got a chance suspension because that's the whole purpose of this, is to launch it. Now, let's grab the truck. It's over there, the Desperado. Let's put it back in the shop. This thing snaps when it starts. It's nuts. Um, that's what I mean. Glitchworks made this. It's a 2011 Desperado 2500. This 5.3 in it. Somebody wanted a mod this way, and it, he basically made it from that this guy. And apparently, the guy there's a literal description on the mod that says that the client or the guy who wanted it done wanted a mod this way. I uh, sent him a video of his vehicle idling and starting. That's how it is. It's literally on the mod description. I'm not just, I don't just know that. That's one of the vehicles I'm going to use. The second one is the Wanka Snow Bus. In the S, I did some modding over here. So I'm going to delete the trailer because I've got millions of dollars on the game. Like, I'm not even joking. I do. I'm going to cover this. The, the biggest engine's already in here. Um, the transmission, gearbox, whatever. I call it transmission because I like to be more real life about it. High range. Um, raise suspension, yes, because it gets b better damage that way. Highway tires, I really don't care about getting money back for that. Wrench, we're, all we're doing is jumping this, is all we're doing. We're going to do two different ways. I want to just keep the stock. I, I, I want some damage done to this thing. I apologize if it's just a hair loud, but I want you to be able to hear the trucks and stuff like that in, in my voice at the same time. I'm just recording this on a Samsung Galaxy A10 Essential, or E, A10E, so um, that's why I'm not really, you know. The International Paystar, that's way down here. Not going to be doing that. There's another one I believe I want. There's a few more I have to buy. I think. Maybe not, but... Uh, no, no th th these don't count. I guess I'm done buying, so let's go. So we're basically going to line them up right here. I'm going to have to drive the ramp a little bit further. Basically, I'm going to wind them all up. I'm going to put them, accelerate and put it in the highest gear, fast as I can. But I'm going to back it up really well. So it hits the barrier, basically. Or whatever. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's enough of that. It burns th th three liters per minute, which is nuts. So... 
This thing's loud as heck. It sounds so realistic and I love it. It might be a little bit nerve wracking. I mean, I, I, I don't adore the sound of it. Like, in the game, it's really fun to see that. But, you know. Okay. I'm not in a good spot. Okay. Okay, my brother's being annoying. You can probably hear that. I think it has mud tires on it. Who cares? So, this is a better. These both have five gears, I believe. Or, I meant this has five gears and this has eight. Um, we'll start with the bus, I guess. Turn my wheel off, because. Yeah. Frickin' send it, mate. Okay, so we got some good damage going on. And the exit doors crush at the bottom. The uh, the lower fender, like it's just barely, t the fender right here, just damaged. The, the door is basically broken. The lights are torched. Um, the grill's a little messed up. The bumper's smashed right through the front. Er, wait, I thought this was the exit door. Never mind. The door over here is completely fine. And from the back, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm going to do this again, but I'm, not right now. I'm going to let the Desperado go first. I'm going to basically wind back up first. And yes, I'm a professional bus driver. I drive correctly. This is the best bus we've ever seen. Like in terms of bus, not big boy, um, obnoxious looking, weird looking bus. Just a school bus or a bus type. I wish I could do burnouts in this game. That'd be so fun. The acceleration physics are just not good for this game. I feel like. Sorry. Okay. Whoa. I, I don't want to damage the back yet. Okay. Whoa. Actually, no. Okay, now let's do the Silverado. I'm gonna call it that because I want to. Okay, putting the higher sends it. Holy, whoa! And it rolls twice. All this guys, guys, is straight pipes. Literally, you saw the end of the carriage. So that time was a fail, but no damage except to the upper right. I would call it mirror, I don't know. So gonna do that again. I'll be right back. Okay guys, a quick update. I kinda slid into that blue propane tank over there, whatever it is. So I'm a little more messed up. But I don't really care. Let's go. I'm not sure how fast it's gonna be, but we're not gonna mess up this time. a lot slower but eh whatever suspension basically doesn't care I didn't have any warning lights come on comment what mods you would like to see down below I'm not a content creator or er, a mod a mod maker I mean I don't have a gaming PC I only have an Xbox Series S as you can see down here I have a couple of laptops but they're low end I, I could make a mod with those, but no. So, it is a lot of work. I can make like a really simple, because someone that taught me really, really, really well, I can make like a simple mod like, I don't know, maybe like 30, 50 megabytes, something like that. Send it, boy. Okay, that's so bad. Okay, now you can see the undercarriage. That failed. We're gonna do this in two different spots. I told you I'm gonna do the bus again, so let's do the bus. Um, this is gonna be over 20 minutes, just letting you know. It's gonna be fast! I really broke it. You heard the damage. Okay, nothing in the back yet, and I'm kinda shocked. Well, I... Yeah, nothing in the back. There's frickin'. Technically, yes, there is a door to there. There's four exits to this bus. 
I mean, if you break the window, you can make five, but with the back window. A door on this side, a door up there, then you got a big uh, window back here to smash through if you want. And then two doors on the on that one. <laughs> Anyways, um, damage-wise, we didn't do much extra. The, the, the shock absorbers are a little bit messed up now, but that's it. I want to do this somewhere else too, so give me a few minutes and I'll come back to you when I'm ready. Okay guys, so let's go this way. I have a surprise for you. The damage on this bus doesn't count right now. I'm just going to use it as it is. You may think, um, what is wrong with you? But really, it's going to be fun. I've never really jumped anything in a video before, so like, what's, what, what, why not, let's do it. Dang, we're getting the bus muddy. Alright. Oh no, now we're stuck. That's good. Yeah. Hold on, boy. I'm gonna be a bus driver, not a freaking bad bus driver. And the dirt and the bumper is wiggling, but, but that doesn't count. We're just gonna put it here, and I'm gonna put it in neutral, like a normal bus driver should. And we're gonna go up to the exact same place with this truck. We'll be able to get some more speed from this spot. If you can hear closely, it does sound like a real life straight pipe V8, like when you're obviously driving. Right, right now, you can hear that straight pipe sound. For sounds and similar to real life for V8s, obviously this is the best. Let me know in the comment section if, if you agree to that. I obviously do, so I just said it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do the bus first because I just wanna see if I can get any more damage than I already have it. We can get more speed this way. All wheel drive. Or at least I'm pretty sure we can. It has eight gears. It should be able to get. It should be able to be on gear six when we get there. Oh, we'll jump it. Nope. Gear 5, never mind. Yes, sir, look at that. Okay, <clears> hey, <throat> yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> so, not really anything new. Although the impact was interesting. The driver probably bashed his head off the thing like a. Yeah. So, that's the Wanka Snow Boss now. Snow Land, isn't it? Snow and bus. Let's look, let's look in the Silverado here. Let's freaking go, yo. Yo, I don't know. Just send it. Send it, boy. Send it, boy. Go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So. The suspension is flawlessly well. You saw nothing went wrong. It's a, it's a freaking whiff, dude. If I had it completely down, it wouldn't be good. That whiff really supports the truck. So, <laughs> damage wise, dude, obviously nothing. I like how he kind of, I like how Glitzworks kind of made like a two or three inch, four inch stance to it. I think that's only like two inches out. Like the baseline wheel is like right here. The the, the wheel usually sits right about like it, inside here and it's all the way over here. That's like probably four inches close to it. And I like how he did the straight pipe is right here. I got the sides. Angle cut. And... Just the way it sounds. And then we have the bus over here. 
the body was damaged just below that door, and then we've got the, the, the that bumper right there. It's inside the body, clearly. We just can't really see it much. It's drove right inside. The lights are smashed out. The grill's messed up a little bit. And that's pretty much it. And if we go inside the bus, we're all safe. Obviously, I went in there. Okay, that was a little weird joke I made. But guys, um, and this white over here is messed up. And this white on the side. Other than that, it's fine. Um, this is a little snow runner video for y'all. Hope you liked it, and I shall see you in the next one.